All right, today we're gonna to start working towards making this. Now, you have done the bend day dots, so let's review that first, and then we're gonna talk about stripes. So for the bend day dots, remember you did coloring with markers onto bubble wrap. You took a paper and you pressed it down and printed the bend day dots, the evenly distributed dots. They don't have to be perfect, but they should cover the page. If you needed to clean your bubble wrap, you took water with a brush and then you dried it off and wiped it with a paper towel. So this is gonna be one of my other ones. And you also might have had colored paper. Let me grab two colored papers. And you printed them the same way. So they might be like this. You might have used a darker color so that way, or a different color so that way they showed up. One, two, three, and four. So you need four dots, and we're also going to do four stripes. So as Real Miss Dykes is passing out supplies, let's talk about stripes. Once you get your four stripe colors, two are gonna be white. You can do all white if you want to. Or you can have other colored papers. I'm gonna do all white so that I can make a variety of colors. For stripes, the main thing is that they need to be parallel, which means that they should run side by side. You can use rulers or you can just kind of freehand it all the way across the page. You can have different colored stripes. You could do rainbow stripes but your goal will be to have four papers with stripes and they can be different directions. Some stripes can be skinny by using the top of the marker. Some stripes can be wide by using the side of the marker. Like I said, you could do rainbow stripes or like a pattern. So I remember you should close your marker caps, but like for this, I'm gonna keep them open so that way it's easier to rotate them if I have to go back to the next color. So for the next little bit, you should be working on getting a total of four dot papers and four stripe papers. After that, we will talk about the next step together. 
if you get done early. Um, we can start choosing other papers for our background. Pause here, you need four dots and four stripes. All right, so welcome back. Now that I have my four dots and my four stripes. Some of these will be clouds and some of them will be explosions. So each square of this is going to have one explosion, one cloud, one should be stripes, and one should be dots. So I think the easiest way to start thinking about this is lining up pairs of stripes and dots together. So you're going to, let me see if I can zoom this out a little bit so you can see better. You're going to pair up your dots and stripes for contrast. So what's going to look good next to each other? What's going to pop out? So these two I feel like could be a pair. This one I feel like could be a pair. This one and this one. So pair off your papers. And then we'll talk about what to do next. The next is you're going to decide which ones are going to be the clouds and which ones are going to be the explosions. The explosions, if they go to the edge, they're a little better. So this one will probably be my cloud and that will be my explosion. Um, but then you can decide how you're going to do that. So I think that this will be my cloud. This will be my explosion. So you put the clouds on top, the explosions behind. All right, so after you have figured out who is the cloud on top, who's the explosion on the bottom, let's draw some clouds on the back of these so we can cut them out. So clouds are pretty easy, just kind of in the middle, you'll draw clouds. And those will be so you can cut them out. Take a second to draw clouds and then we're going to draw explosions on the ones underneath. All right, put your clouds off to the side for a second. So that way you can see your explosions. So for your explosions, they need to be bigger than the clouds. So the key is to draw so they touch the edges of this rectangle. So you start a little bit in and then the spikes should go all the way to the edge of the rectangle. I can put that back on top. Once again, the spikes should go all the way to the edge of the rectangle so we know that they're big enough.
All right, so what I would do is I would start thinking about, once you have done this, you're going to get a primary colored background. That's red, yellow, or blue. Once everyone's done drawing their stuff, go ahead and raise your hand and I will give you a paper. And we're gonna stop all together and we're going to fold it. All right, once you have your paper, you can write your name on the back. And we're going to fold it into four. So you're gonna fold it hamburger style, unfold it, hot dog style, unfold it. You're then going to trace these lines to make it into four sections. Then you can start cutting and gluing explosions with clouds on top. And we drew on the back because if you don't exactly have your cuts on the line, then it's okay. and I'm going to glue it down into my first rectangle. This is the cloud that's going to go on top of it. And I'm going to glue that down top of the explosion. So you should start with the explosion, cut that explosion, glue it down so you don't have a lot of cut out papers rolling around in your folder if you have to finish early. You see I'm kind of just kind of triangles it's helped me go faster and I don't really have to move my scissors around that much. I'm just kind of moving the paper. until you are done. If we don't finish today, we're just gonna put your papers like this into your folder and we'll finish next time.